In this video, I'm going to show you how to pick your photo booth backdrop and your template. And here on our website, uh, if you click on photo booth, it'll bring you to this page right here. And then here, you can see this is what the templates will end up looking like um, once uh, you have selected your template. Um, and so uh, try to always think about the templates and then also the backdrop and making sure that they match. Here, you'll see a list of different backdrops. Uh, we have about 80 some different backdrops, and these are just examples of, of what they'll look like. Um, and so what we'll be doing is we'll actually be sending you, it's gonna be a photo booth backdrop form, which is gonna look just like this. And you can pick a form, um, any form you prefer, or any backdrop you prefer. And then at the bottom, once you've picked the, the backdrop that you like, you then will uh, enter in your first name, uh, last name, all your information, and then also the date of your event. And uh, then you'll be able to put any special instructions and then click Submit. And here you'll notice that we actually have some additional um, sequence or mermaid backdrops that we have here. So um, those are the newest additions uh, as well, and they're pretty amazing. Uh, so feel free to select any of these as well because they're not yet on the site, but you will, you will get a chance to see them as well. Now for the template, you'll scroll past the backdrops down to our template section here. And so you'll see here, I already had a uh, pink as it, as a example, but currently right now it's, it's around St. Patrick's Day. Um, and there's a few different options that you can use. You can use a three picture, um, a four picture, and these are strips. Um, and these aren't recommended if you're doing uh, a uh, SMS, a text message or email, uh, basically a selfie booth um, or an eco booth, uh, which is basically a photo booth without a printer because when the picture gets sent, it will be sent uh, mirrored because there's going to be one copy here and one copy here and our printer cuts this. So when you have a printer, uh, we recommend the strips. Um, for just the uh, text message and email, we recommend these because they'll come out exactly like this um, as well. And you have a few different options, um, have it be horizontal or vertical. Now, when you have an event, um, you can just basically uh, search any color or theme. So we can search wedding, for example. And then you see uh, the wedding templates coming up. We have about over 500 different designs to choose from. So you can really make a lot of different combinations with our backdrops and uh, our, um, our photo booth templates. So you can see that you can choose by event type, or let's say you have a specific uh, event color. You can also go, you know, by the event color, um, and then you can pull up multiple different types of templates that way. And the way that you would select it is you're gonna actually click on it, and then here you'll see that there's actually two lines of text. So you can choose your event date, your name, information, phone number, and then text line one, text line two, and very few uh, designs have three lines, but if it does, feel free to enter it in there. And here you can put like your name, um, and then here you can put, uh, you know, maybe the date, uh, and then if there's a custom, uh, another third line, you can put it there as well. If you have any additional information, you can go ahead and put it there. And then once you click confirm, uh, it will send it directly to our designers and it'll get done. So I hope that helps. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us at michael at specialeventdjs.com or give me a call. All right. Thanks so much. Rock on.